Hello, everyone. I wanted to speak here to some of the personal experience I've had in using the shamanic journey to navigate and make decisions in my life. A year or so ago, I finished my PhD, and as part of that process, I had to give two formal defenses. The first was a proposal defense that's to defend the idea that you have for your dissertation. And I was so nervous and shaken up about this proposal defense because what I was doing was using a holistic framework to consider what civic engagement is and can be. And it felt like such a risk in the academic setting because I was explicitly looking at emotional and spiritual components of our decision-making in civic life. This risk felt so scary that I was just on my absolute edge and it was all I could do to just give the defense and get through. I forgot to use my journey skills. I forgot to put into practice what I had learned over more than 10 years of excellent journey instruction and support of great teachers. It was not great. I did get through that hurdle of the proposal defense, but it was really hard. It did not feel supportive. And I was asked to do about three months worth of unnecessary busy work uh, in order to confirm that I would pass. So when it came time for the next defense, when I had finished writing my dissertation, uh, I had learned from this and I did not forget about my journey skills. And I began using them early on in the process when I was formulating my theory. I asked to understand my theory in symbolic language. So I had that metaphoric understanding that could go deep into my psyche to understand really what is this dissertation about? What meaning does it have to my soul, to my heart? And having that connection to the meaning of my theory and my study really fueled the process. I also asked questions about timing, when to push, when to ease up. I asked questions about who could support me best. And when I had a prospective committee member, I would journey to ask how that member's presence on the committee would serve the best expression of this dissertation in a way that was a good expression of my own soul's purpose. I was shown two very different journeys one time when I asked who should chair my committee. One chair, uh, when I journeyed to ask about how, how her presence would serve me, I flew down this wonderful slide and it was easy. And at the same time that it was easy, it was also deep. And I felt myself going into these nourishing depths uh, that had real meaning to me. Another potential chair, the journey showed me zooming in on these tiny little stitches and obsessing over everyone and then zooming out and realizing that I had an entire quilt that I needed to piece together to have this dissertation really make sense. And so that was incredibly useful information. And as you can imagine, I chose to work with the chair uh, whose journey involved the slide. <laughs> and it was such a gift. I have never heard of any dissertation committee chair being as supportive and useful and helpful and kind and quick to, um, to respond as she was. So I wanted to share this story because I really want to be able to share these skills with you. How to frame journey questions that will give us really good information about what kinds of results 
might come from certain kinds of approaches and actions. There's a strategy to journeying. It's important to learn the technique and journeying requires us to go inward first, to know ourselves, to know what matters to us. And we go to the compassionate helping spirits that we find in the journey realm. And we tell them what's in our heart and what we truly want. And then we ask them what course of action will best serve those values, those things we hold dear. And they meet us there. And over time, we get better and better at framing questions, at interpreting, trusting our results, and we build a rapport and a deep trust in our own ability to discern, to navigate in our lives, to plot our course, and ultimately to give actual expression to the values we hold most dear. When we journey well and skillfully, we know what actions will give form and expression to what we hold in our heart and soul, to the values we hold dear, like justice, like community, like purpose, like love and growth and healing. So please check out my offerings. My website is listed here in the description of this video. Welcome, it'd be wonderful to meet you there.